First way to stay motivated, surround yourself around positive people that believe in your capabilities and believe in you and believe what you're going after. You have to have a circle of people around you. You don't have to, but it helps. It helps a lot to have a group of people around you that are pushing you and boosting you up, boosting your confidence. It's good to have people telling you you're great. It's good to have people telling you and remind you that that dream is alive and you're seeing it for a reason and go after it. That is important. For the first one, keep positive people around you that believe in your capability. The second way on how to stay motivated, remember, yo, go ahead and tell them, man. Go ahead and tell them the second way. Hey, Squid, go ahead and tell them the second way, man. Go ahead. Well, since he's not going to, the second way on how to stay motivated, remember that failure is just an observation on what to fix. Failure is not telling you it's not gonna happen. Failure is telling you to step back and do it another way, to do it a better way, a better way that is going to progress you at an even faster rate. So stop being scared of failure. Take failure into consideration. Really a tool. The world has put this bad persona on failure. You failed, you failed, you failed, you failed. Okay, I failed. I know that's not the right way to do it. Now I know I can find the right way to do it and I will figure it out. You feel me? So give a thumbs up for failure because it helps you out in the long run. The third way to stay motivated is keeping your focus, visualizing what you're going after to remind you on the days you feel down that it's still there. And you're doing this for a reason. If it's getting hard, if the sun is out, it's beaming. I'm getting hot, blood running, blood rushing. And I'm, I'm jogging. I'm trying to stay fit. This is an example. I'm trying to stay fit, get my body together. The sun is beaming. I got no water. I just ran out of my water. I'm hot. I'm a mile away from the house, away from my car. Excuse me, away from my car. And I just feel like giving up. But then I think about that lady I'm trying to impress. I think about that for the ladies, for the lady. The lady you would think about the dude you're trying to impress, your body in shape. But for me personally, because I'm a dude, I think about the lady I'm trying to impress. And when I'm about to get back to running, bro, I would visualize her smiling, you feel me? How my body is fit, you know? Her saying, oh, your body looks good. That would motivate me again. And I'd get back to running by just visualizing what I'm aiming for, aiming for my goal. And my goal would be to get my body right so I feel right in front of, around my, my, my partner. I would visualize the beach. I would visualize people complimenting my body, specifically ladies. And that would motivate me to take a moment, gather myself back together, and start jogging again to get my body back in shape. Now you see how visualization has helped me and motivated me to keep doing what I gotta do, to stay on track and stay on point. I'm telling you, visualization will help you and it will motivate you. Use your imagination a bit. Ain't that right, Mr. Swift?